the Jack Benny program. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here I am again. And I don't know whether you noticed it or not, but uh, I'm wearing a different makeup. I just thought I'd try it out. Uh, this is the same makeup that all of the Italian movie stars are wearing. <laughs> it's Max Factors, number five, mixed with ravioli sauce. <laughs> and it's very good, too. The only trouble with it is that if you, uh, if you stay under the hot lights for over 15 minutes, your face begins to look like a pizza. <laughs> Anyway, um, before we go any further, I would like to do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm going to, uh, huh? What's that? We can't? Oh, that's a shame. Uh, excuse me, folks, but, uh, you see, what I wanted to do was uh, introduce the members of my orchestra to you, but um, unfortunately, we have just lost visual contact with the Lincoln Heights Jail. <laughs> and uh, we had such a cute idea, too. You see, Sammy the drummer was going to play Nola on the Iron Bars. <laughs> Well, anyway, we can, we can do this stunt any time within the next 90 days. <laughs> now, let's see. What else was I going to... I'm so tired tonight. But there's no excuse, of course, for my being tired, because last week I spent a few days in Palm Springs, and uh, my trip didn't turn out exactly the way I had it planned. You see, I uh, had a most unusual thing happen there. Let me tell you what it was. You see, it was, last Monday was when I had planned to take this little vacation. And I was so anxious to get started that Rochester and I were up very early Monday morning. Okay, I'm glad you woke me up early, Rochester. As soon as I finish breakfast, I'm going to start packing. We'll be on our way to Palm Springs. Yeah. I should be having breakfast at 8 o'clock in the morning. I had mine at 6. Yeah, 6 o'clock in the morning. Rochester, how about some more coffee? No, thanks. I've had plenty. I mean me. Me. Oh! Oh! Hey, boss, when you get to Palm Springs, are you going to do a show from there? No, not this time. I'm just going to rest. Get in my trunks and jump in the pool and sit around in the sun. And you're going to take it easy, too, Rochester. Me? Yeah. Every day it's work, work, work. And I don't know, what, what does it get us? Nothing but money. <laughs> I got plenty of nothing, you got plenty of money. <laughs> oh, boy, am I looking forward to this trip. Boss, as soon as you finish your coffee, we can get started packing. I've had enough. I'm going to finish dressing. <sighs> Say, boss, are we taking Polly with us? No, and I'm glad you reminded me. Look, the Rochester, not a word about our trip to Palm Springs in front of Polly. I mean, you know how upset that parrot gets every time she sees us packing a bag. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, Polly. Ah, hello, hello. Well, I'm going to get out the bag and start to... Bag! Ah! Rochester. I'm going to get the bag and put it on the vacuum cleaner and, and clean up your room. That's right, the, the bag on the vacuum cleaner. And uh, when the bag is full, we can start for... P-A-L-M-S-P-R-I-N-G-S. P-A-L-M-S-P-R-I-N-G-S. Vacuum cleaner. That's right, Polly. That vacuum cleaner. Boris, you'd better take Polly. 
Polly out of here or she'll see us packing. Oh, she'll probably think we're just sending out some clothes to be pressed, you know. I guess so. I'm sure glad you're staying in a place that's close to town this time. Yeah, it will be convenient. The last place we stayed at was so far out in the desert, a coyote had to bring your luggage in. That wasn't a coyote, it was Lassie. And it wasn't my luggage, it was hers. She had the room next to me. <laughs> this time, we're gonna live in one of the nicest places in, in P-A-L-M-S-P-R-I-N-G-S. P-A-L-M-S-P-R-I-N-G-S, vacuum cleaner. <laughs> well, I guess I got everything I need. Oh, look, I'm, I'm, I'll go in the other room and answer the phone and take Polly with me. Meanwhile, you put all the things in the bag, see? Come on, Polly. Come on with Daddy. Come on. Come on, Polly. <laughs> Quiet, Polly. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Jack. This is Mary. I'm going to pick you up in about 20 minutes. Oh, that's why I called, Jack. I've decided to ride down to Palm Springs with Don Wilson. Why? I thought you were going with me. I'm not going to ride in that car of yours anymore. It's about time you got a new one. Oh, for heaven's sake. Mary, I told you a thousand times I'm going to trade it in as soon as I get a reasonable offer. For that car? Yes. If they offer you a pair of shoes, take it. <laughs> All right. You go with Don Wilson, but I'll be there before you. You've heard the story of the tortoise and the hare, haven't you? No, but if it's clean, you can tell it to me in Palm Springs. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll see you later. Goodbye. I got the bags all packed. Shall I close them up? Well, I'm going in first, see if you forgot anything. I'm sorry, Polly, but this time you have to stay here. <laughs> all right, all right. If you're lonesome, Daddy will turn on the radio for you. Yeah, I can get some music. Hey, you are, Polly. This musical program is being brought to you by the Blue Skies Trailer Village in Palm Springs, California. For information about our rates and facilities, just drop a postcard to the Blue Skies Trailer Village in Palm Springs. P-A-L-M-S-P-R-I-N-G-S. Palm Springs. P-A-L-M-S-P-R-I-N-G-S. Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Palm Springs! Palm Springs! <laughs> if we stick on the main highway. Say, mister, yeah? is this the only way to get to Palm Springs? Oh, no, no, there are several ways. I would suggest that from here, you head straight for Saturn, uh, turn right to Mars, make a left to Jupiter, then head for the moon, and then... Hey, wait a minute. Mars, Jupiter, the moon? Yeah. Ain't this a rocket ship? <laughs> Put in some gas, will you? Uh, Ethel or regular? Right. Ethel. <laughs> Better make it Ethel. Look, Rochester, the last time we came through here, we went pretty fast. What did we use then? Nothing. We'd lock bumpers with a Greyhound bus. I'm 
sorry. I thought you had a windshield. <laughs> Let me wipe the bugs off your glasses. Look, never mind. <laughs> well, have you made up your mind? What do you want, regular or ethyl? Regular. Okay. The water and oil's fine. All right, as long as the hood is up, check my battery. Okay. Looks okay to me. I'll tell you when to stop. Uh, let me know how many you're putting in. Okay. One. Two. Three. Uh, $2.80. 280 Here, wait a minute. There. Thank you. And the next time you pass this gas station, please do. <laughs> All right, wise guy. Come on, Rochester, start the car. Yes, Just start it again, will you? Yes. <laughs> But if you're going to tell it, keep your voice down. My wife is in the office. <laughs> Not that kind of a story. Come on, Rochester. Yes. Say, bud, which way to Palm Springs? The Palm Springs? Well, you... Oh, oh just follow us. Hi, Jack. Hey, Don, how'd you know when I got in? I saw the manager parking your car. Yeah, where'd he put it? In front of another hotel down the street. <laughs> hey, you sure didn't waste any time getting into your swim trunks. Uh, not me. I'm not going to waste a minute of this vacation. Well, I'm going out and get a little sun something to eat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's P-R-I-N-G-S, Palm Springs. <laughs> That's right, Polly. It's Palm Springs. Here's the rest of your bags. Oh, let me give a hand with the... All right, get that one. There we are. Here's two. Yeah, I got those. Come on. Here's one. Okay, nice. Boy, here. Here's a tip for you. Gee, a dime. Now I can have a chiropractor to put my spine back in place. <laughs> If you haven't got health insurance, it's your own fault. <laughs> Rochester, uh, finish unpacking the bags, and I'm going to swim. What? Aren't you going to wait for Miss Livingston? When she phones, she says she'd be here in 20 minutes. I'm not waiting for anyone. I'm going right in that pool. Thank you. Hey, hey, bud. How long before the pool fills so we can go swimming? We'll have it all cleaned up and refilled by morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, here I go, Rochester. See you later.
try to relax, boss. The doctor should be here any minute now. <laughs> oh. Ah, B-A-L-M-S-P-R-I-N-G-S, Palm Springs. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> that must be the doctor now. Hello, Miss Livingston. Jack, instead of going swimming, I thought that maybe we'd... Jack! Oh. Jack, what happened to you? It's a long story. Rochester, you tell her. I don't think I'm allowed to. You sold the rice to 20th Century Fox. What? Disney turned it down. Thought it was too fantastic. <laughs> Now, what really happened, Jack? Well, all right. I came to Palm Springs to get the sun and go swimming. I didn't want to lose a minute of it. So I ran out of the room, jumped off the diving board. And there was no water in the pool. <laughs> all right, so I made up a joke. Now, tell me what happened. <laughs> you didn't make up a joke. That's exactly what happened. Oh, oh for heaven's sake. <laughs> Rochester. Get me some more ice cubes, will you, for this? Yes, sir. You know, Mary, they had a lot of nerve I mean, draining that pool without telling anyone. Well, it's your own fault. You're always in such a hurry. The last time I came to Palm Springs, you did the same thing. Well, that was different. Oh, that's right. This time you had your trunks on. <laughs> Miss Livingston, if you're trying to make me laugh, forget it. Oh, I'll get it, Jack. How do you do? <laughs> I'm the house doctor. Oh, yes, doctor. Come on in. Jack, it's the doctor. It's about time you got here. We called you two hours ago. Yeah, I know, but I didn't have my license there. <laughs> uh, what kind of a doctor are you? No, oh, I'm an MD and a chiropractor. Well, before you work on me, I want to know your rates. Are you expensive? Oh, no. I just put a bellboy's spine back in place, and all he had was a die. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, now, uh, open your mouth. <laughs> Say, this tastes good. You should have tasted it when the popsicle was on it. <laughs> Doctor, is it serious? Well, that all depends. In cases like this, there are many contributing factors. In natural vitality, physical strength, recuperative powers, age. Keep going. There must be something in his favor. <laughs> Mary. Well, I, I think I'd better examine you very thoroughly. After all, jumping into an empty swimming pool could be an awful shock on the system. Uh, first, uh, I'll listen to your heart. Uh-huh. Yes. Is. That fall really jarred you, didn't it? <laughs> Doctor, why don't you just examine me and be quick about it? Now, now, don't be impatient. There's no need to hurry. After all, you've heard the story of the tortoise and the hare. I thought I did, but there's a new version going around. Shall I leave the room? Mary, don't be funny. Well, I guess that does it for now. Uh, doctor, Mr. Benny came to Palm Springs to get the sun. How long do you think he'll have to be in bed? Well, that's hard to say. I'll be back later to take some x-rays, and then we'll know. In the meantime, though, we uh, must be sure that his blood pressure stays up. So, every hour, uh, give him this. Uh, what is it? In my bill. <laughs> You know, Jack, I just can't understand it. Every time we go someplace, something happens to you. It does not. It doesn't, eh? How about the time we went to Yellowstone Park? Out of thousands of people, only you had to be looking down into Old Faithful when it went off. Mary. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It kept you up in the air 20 minutes. <laughs> Steve took the crease out of my pants and everything. <laughs> Here's the ice 
killed, boss. Well, Jack, I think I'll go out and get some sun. I'll see you later. Take care of yourself. You know, Rochester, when I jumped off that diving board and saw there was no water in the pool, I came so close to getting killed that my whole life flashed before me. Your whole life? Yeah. I can see the time when I graduated Waukegan High. And then I remember the days when I, when I went to the University of Illinois and, and I was an all-American football player. <laughs> but then... I felt my life wouldn't be complete unless I left something to posterity. So I entered the field of science and discovered the formula for nuclear fission. <laughs> Paul, is that the life that flies before you? Rochester, when you're that close, you cheat a little. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. Okay. I don't know why he wants to sleep. He's got nothing left to dream about. Would you like some more coffee? No, I don't want any more. Well, you look much better today. How do you feel? How do I feel? I come to Palm Springs for the sun and to go swimming, and I have to spend four days in bed. And you ask me, how do I feel? Well, you don't have to bite my head off, you know. Mary, I'm not mad at you. It's that publicity man of mine. He can think up some of the most ridiculous things you've ever heard of. And then when something really happens, there isn't one word about me in the papers. Jack, it was in all the papers. It was? Well, I didn't see it. I bought them all up. I was ashamed. <laughs> Come in. Oh, Mary. Hi, Dad. Hi. Jack. I'm terribly sorry about your accident. I hope it isn't anything serious. How long before they let you out of bed? Well, that depends on the doctor. He took some x-rays. He's coming back today. Incidentally, Don, if... <laughs> Don, aren't you a little too heavy to be playing tennis? No, no, not at all, Jack. As a matter of fact, my size is a great advantage. How? Well, I just stand in the middle of a court, and if the ball goes on either side of me, it's out of bounds. <laughs> Don, either side of you is out of Palm Springs. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jack, stop picking on Don's size. I happen to know he's losing weight. Oh, sure. I'm losing weight. Well, he is. Yeah. This morning I saw him get on a penny scale, and it's the first time it only cost him three cents. <laughs> well, congratulations. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. I have to go anyway. I'll go with you, Don. All right. Yeah, how do you do? Oh, Jack, it's the doctor. Well, how's our little patient today? Doctor, I've been waiting for you. Yeah, I know. We had to look at your x-ray. This is my assistant. No. My x-rays, how do they come out? Well, the swelling hasn't gone down yet. Your case was so unusual. That's why I brought my assistant along to take a look. Mm. Now, hold still. <laughs> <laughs> 